Hello, it's me. How are you? You missed me. Oh, I don't think I missed you. I, I missed you so much as well, actually. Oh my god. So on today's video, we're doing something a little bit different to what we usually do. I originally wanted to find loads of articles and things talking about how outrageous renting is in London because I've been seeing a couple throughout the last throughout the last year. I've been seeing things popping up like how they'd be putting it's essentially a hallway, a hallway, and they put a bed in it and say it's a studio. But then it became really hard for me to find all of these articles, and I still wanted to do a video where we look at ridiculous housing situations because it's going well at the moment isn't it everyone i'm sure you all know if you're not sucking on a silver spoon i'm sure you'll understand so instead of me finding all the articles to show you i also like the element of surprise in my videos everything i do is improvised and off the cuff and i thought we'll just go on a reddit called spotted on right move and we'll just look at some houses for a bit i thought something different something i want to do something that could be fun for us and maybe i could do it a couple of times and it could be another little series where i pop up on the channel and show look at these houses Woohoo! is today's video going to be good i don't know let me know at the end so it's a good start already just showing a messy bookshelf that's spotted on right move that's crazy that makes me not want to purchase the house shit <laughs> <laughs> It's actually filth that people are putting these up to sell for 200 grand as well, that was. 200,000 great British pounds. And what, you got to do it up yourself? Have I got to put the money in to fix this? You know your favourite e-girl? She's living like this. Also, if I sound a bit weird, I have been ill. Quite ill for a while, so I've got a bit bugged up nose still. <coughs> <laughs> I've seen worse on those articles that I want you to find. A bath in a bedroom. Just imagine the moisture. That's what I'm thinking of. The moisture and how wet everything would just be because of the humidity. <laughs> you get into bed. It's a little bit wet. Mmm, that's what I want. I want to have a bath and then dry myself off on the carpet and then get right into bed. Mmm, mold. This is £600,000, yeah. This is a good thing. I want to look at bad stuff, but look, I'm just going to go through it very quickly. For 600 grand, incredible. For 600 grand in London, you are getting quite literally not even a studio flat. A studio apartment, sorry. Apartment for my, for my, my, my audience that don't use the word flat. My apartment. See, the thing is, it's a pound to get on the property ladder. The caveat, the small print, is it's in Hull. <sighs> look at this. Five mil? Five mil, yeah, okay, yeah. Let's all look at this because we can really afford this. Why do rich people like to decorate like this? Why have you got two steel dogs? Look at how they live, huh? I want a mullet of it. <laughs> Look at it, in Cheshire, in Cheshire as well. Cheshire, look, fuck off. I'm here to look at a room that costs five grand a month to rent, not this stuff. I'm not looking, I'm not here to look at crazy good stuff. Oh, that's great, I'll never get that, that's sad. I wanna look at stuff that will make me sad because I can't afford it and it's really small. Sketty, hey, that's where your mum's from, Sketty. If you don't know the slang for whore. Woman of the night. Is that even a, is that what? Slag. <laughs> I literally only clicked on it because it said Sketty. Again, we've got like a massive luxurious house. Look at the size of the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Interesting couch placement. That's a fetish. Surely that is a fetish. There's no door either. This is a little ensuite as well. They've made this so they can sit there and watch someone have a shit, 100%. But then imagine if like you bought this place off these creeps that have got this fetish and then you meet someone new and they come over and that's the only option. They've got to go for a shit around the corner and you've just met them. You can hear them wiping. Mmm, I like that, I silly, I like that. I need this. What is this? This is insane. That's a pensioner's nightmare though, all those stairs. But come on, what the fuck? <laughs> This is incredible. This is actually, I need this. That's fantastic. They've got two suits of armor as well. Again, I came here to look at bad stuff and I've come and I found a castle and I need it. Look at that image though. Absolutely ridiculous. 600 grand for a five, 600,000 pounds for a five bedroom castle. You're just not getting that sort of price in London. Does anyone want to fall in love with it? get married, have have some children, you know, and split the mortgage and we can live in a castle. Come on. Please hit me up in the DMs. I won't respond. 
<laughs> my six-year-old takes better photos and i didn't know what what to expect and i wasn't expecting this this is that's good i want the place actually how have they even got that blurry how are you taking a blurry picture of something that's not moving something that is stuck in place you're somehow making it blurry yeah that's good that makes me oh i can really envision myself doing the washing up there <laughs> it's good it's good they really know how to sell a place and it's a grand and a half in devon i think devon yeah a grand and a half in devon it's a four bedroom house though for a grand and a half that's not bad but it is in devon what is there to do in devon nothing actually actually nothing to do i live in london currently and i say that like i do loads of things in london london's got so much to offer do i do any of it other than sit in my room i just all i do is sit in my room so if i was getting a four bedroom house in devon at least i could spend loads of time in each room for less price than it would for, for me to rent a four bedroom in london let available date in 2099 i to be honest the way that the housing situation is at the moment i'm not surprised that it's taking that long you're gonna have to do yourself a fry from future armor and freeze yourself for a thousand years i personally think in a thousand years we're not going to exist i think that society is gonna really really eat itself up and we aren't going to exist, but it doesn't matter for us because we're going to be dead by then. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. Seven bedrooms for this much. You know when you're walking down the street and you see estate agents and it will show like the local properties. There are like two to three bedroom places around London, like in a nice part of London. Rare. They don't really exist. And it's like a two, three bed at most and it's more than that. Seven beds. It looks like a hotel. I'm purchasing it. I can put money forward. I can afford it. I'm, I'm going to put a mortgage towards it. And do you know why I can afford that? Thanks to these two people that donated some money to the channel. Thank you very much, guys. And if you want to support the channel, please help me out. It does genuinely come in handy. Like these little tenors randomly. It's like, oh, I can get myself like three packs of chicken. And that's loads of dinners. Oh, look at that. You like that? Anyway, uh, I can afford that now. Thanks to you being so generous. We don't want to see good stuff. Look at that, man. Looks like something you create in Sims, trying to live out your most outlandish fucking dreams. Look at it, man. I mean, if you live in an area where there's floods, though, you're fucked, isn't it? From the top, you've got the barbers. You've got the barbers up there. Go for a little trim and then... Oh, sick. Swallow's Barn. That's where your mum's from. <laughs> if it's going to be that narrow, I don't think you need that many countertops. Me being a big man. Me being a big man. Wait, 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 wait. Me being a big man. I'm not fitting. I'm too big, brother. I'm too big. I'm walking down. I'm going, oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Piece of shit. But two, well, how much does it cost? Two bedroom, 850 quid a month. Where? I don't know where Hinor is. Hinor, Ray Street in Hinor. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of any of these things, to be honest. Langley Mill Station. Ilsen station. No, I don't know. don't know where it is. But would I for 850 a month? It's not bad, actually. I mean, the kitchen's ridiculous, but it's not bad. Or am I just, have I got London rock brain where I think that's not bad when I've got some northern people that'll watch me be like, I pay £400 a month for seven bedrooms, mate, and nine toilets. It's because you live up north, mate. Because you're a fucking northerner, all right? That's the con. That's the con of it all. You're northern, but you got cheap airs in. Or you could be really lovely and southern and well-spoken and educated and then homeless, can't afford... Oh, I can't afford anything. Oh, no. So, you know, you got the pros and the cons. I'd rather be southern. <laughs> 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 to be honest, I really like it. Rich people do buy the most insane shit so that's probably about 20 grand but i do like it and i want it is that wrong of me some people's color schemes are nuts why are you painting your kitchen like mario and luigi what's going on here man what the fuck is that get that off my screen now i actually hate it that's given me it's actually given me goosebumps oh oh that's ugh. i really really don't like it but if you did get them and you put them on that sofa and they look at me having a shit, I think I'd like it at that point though. But if they're just sitting there, nah, watching me have a shit though. Might have unlocked something there. Hmm. 
Look at this place, man. Seven mil. Stop showing me huge places. Look, I think people that live like this and live in places like this and have the privilege to live in a place like this should be killed. <laughs> if I can't live like this, you shouldn't be able to live like this. Look at it, man. What have you done in your... That's really cool for your kid as well. Your bed is a pirate ship. Oh, set fire to the place with the minute. <laughs> Surely you've done something that is not moral to get this sort of money surely or it's generational that's come from where you've not done something very nice i can't conceptualize how people can make this much money without exploiting the thing is you don't need something this big seven mil 13 bedrooms okay we got something in enfield london it's gonna be abysmal this is what i came to see The pictures make it look massive, so I can't say much. Oh, there's a little cat. Oh, the pictures make it look pretty good, to be honest. I would live in that room. That is how I would... Uh, not the Arsenal in the top corner, though. I'm saying that like I'm a, I am support any football team. I don't watch football. I only watch the Euros and the World Cup, and I'm really excited for the Euros that are coming up soon. They said, is this a joke? A shoebox? I, I'd, I'd take the shoebox. Am I deluded because I am a Londoner? that I think that's fine. Look at how big this place is. I'm just scrolling through it, yeah? It's pretty decent. Or am I, again, London rock brain? Look at the size of it, yeah? That is massive. 200,000 pounds. 200, not even a quarter of a million, yeah? That says offer, offers in region of, so I don't know anything about anything, all right? So if I'm getting things wrong here, I'm not a fucking estate agent, all right? But still, 230 grand, massive house. Wow, oh, it's in Bradford. Oh, it's in... Keep it. I understand why it's so cheap, yeah. No worries. That's your mum's house. Because there's a pole. Stripper. Strip dancing. Pole dancing. <laughs> your mum loves it, alright? Your mum's dirty. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is, again, like a church? It's that... Ma that. That. They've converted that into this. It looks like a hotel lobby. What do you mean? And it's own. Wait, wait, let's keep going through these pictures. Look at this. This is insanity. Again, I'm saying this for the one millionth millionth time. I didn't come here to look at big buildings and crazy shit that I love. I came here to look at madness that sucks to really show how crap the renting industry is at the moment. I can't think of the word. The renting, renting life is at the moment. Instead, I'm seeing crazy stuff that I love. Not even two mil. For this, where is it though? I don't know where Torque. 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 This just, it looks really depressing, but I think it's just because it's really messy. Again, it's in Newcastle. Who the, f why would you ever want to live in Newcastle? But then 75 grand for that. Do it up a bit. That's not the worst. Clean it and add your own furniture, etc. 70 gr I'm doing it. I'm moving to... I'm moving to Newcastle, man. I'm moving to Newcastle, man. Why are you moving to Newcastle, man? That was nearly Welsh. I can't do in a Geordie accent. Why... Why you got... I couldn't even think of a sentence to say then. I forgot English. That is, you know, if you've got a Geordie accent, you don't know English yourself. I'm being really elitist in this video. <laughs> Northern bad, southern good. An opportunity exists to lose a lot of money. Let's have a look. 3.2 mil in London. That's the closest sort of like dystopian idea of a beach you're gonna get living in London. I live right next to the sea and it's just polluted water and it's just a shithole. Look, I bet it stinks. Living next to that water, that London water, pong in. So, monthly <laughs> repayments of 17 grand on a 25 year repayment and you got to put down that much 17 grand a month easy what's, what's everything you got you know with all those little 10 pound donations coming in from you guys i'll be able to afford that rent easy peasy so if you want to support the channel link in the description also listen to my music my song kiss me again it's nearly got thirty thousand streams get it to thirty thousand. <laughs> 50 fucking years i will be in a retirement home shitting my pants and getting my ass wiped by an android at that point and i still won't even be able to pay it off and it's so worth it living by that water maybe you could even go for a little swim mm, you come up with an extra arm 
lovely. I don't know what this video was. I don't know. It, it didn't turn out to be what I wanted it to be because I wanted to just really have a sad time. But I, I've done my best. If you like this, I can do it again at some point. It has been fun. I just don't know if it's been that entertaining. So if you give it a like, I'll know that you liked it. Or leave a comment telling me if you would move into that castle house with me. But at this rate, it's so expensive, we'll need at least six of us. So five women, all right? No men allowed, just me and five other women, all right? <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll do this another time. I'll see you guys another time in another time with another video. Click this one and I'll see you guys next time. Click it, please, all right? Bye.